What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about headlights and I love lighting. Um, on my car, I need it to be crisp. I need it to be clean. And um, yeah, that's one of the things that I really, really care about. So I only did two things. I only upgraded two things and those two things are like night and day. I upgraded my bulbs and I upgraded the glass inside, which is basically the projector inside. I will show you what a crazy difference it makes. This is the stock bulb with the stock lens. This is the aftermarket lens with the aftermarket bulb. Huge difference. Right? Seriously. The best thing you could do is upgrade your bulbs and upgrade your projectors. And on top of that, I also added the Umitsa Angel Eyes, which are these ones right here. They're awesome, they look pretty dope. The glass inside, the projector itself, is night and day difference. If you have a BMW, please change that like as soon as possible because it's, it's crazy how, how different it really is. So. Okay, so these are the projectors themselves. This is the stock projector from the left side of my car, and this is the right one, which I took off and, and uh, which I still haven't changed yet. You guys are gonna be blown away by how crazy this thing looks. Okay, so this is the stock projector, right? See if you guys can see that. Um, it has like this little groove right here, or this little line that goes right through it. Um, if you could see, I don't know if the camera will be able to capture this, but it's very almost like grainy inside. It really doesn't cast a very good, um, I don't know how you say that, a, um, cast a very good light. Um, the optics are pretty bad on this. So, I mean, wish you guys could see this very up and close. But maybe if I can like put something in the back and you guys can like, I don't know, see if you guys can see that. Um, perhaps, let's see, switch it out the other way. Okay, maybe if I can uh, focus on something. Let's see, can you guys see that? Okay, so this is the stock one, which is so weird because it's pretty grainy on the inside. The glass is not super clean. Uh, that's that's the stock. This is the aftermarket one. Huge difference. It's like, you could already see how clear it is. This is like, the optics on this is like, night and day, like seriously. Check it out, see if you can see them both. Can you see that? Yeah, it's, just, it's pretty crazy. So this is the stock one. This is the aftermarket one. See how clean and crisp and like, it, it casts a really great light on it. So that is why you get that crisp line right across. Like almost like a laser cut line. This, I don't know what this is for. I mean, maybe it's, uh, it gives it a lot. I have no idea what this line is for. So, uh, not a huge fan of that, but here are the Osram's headlights. So these headlights are freaking phenomenal. They're expensive, but they are phenomenal. The car already comes at, with a stock. This is a stock one, and this is the aftermarket. But the aftermarket one is an upgraded cool blue Osram's. So um, these headlights, they run about a hundred bucks for two of them, but I mean, it's well worth it as you're gonna see it. It's like literally night and day, I'm not kidding. So we're gonna replace the stock headlight with the cool blue and we're gonna put this back right where it belongs. So yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, it's like night and day. This is like the best upgrade that you'll possibly do to your car, I swear. Like, you'll love how clean and clear those lights are. And um, to me, I love headlights. Um, it really stands out when you're driving. And you could actually see, unlike that 
I'm like, this is BS, dude. Like, what is this, dude? Come on. I'm still trying to... This, I, what is that line? What is that? Anyways, so those are the difference. And, I mean, with the with HID bulbs, trust me, dude, do not go cheap on these, man. It's like, uh, yeah, they are 100 bucks for two of them for the pair, but it's well worth it. Um, I love it, like, LED lights as well. They're awesome. They're clean. They're, like, super white but as far as like power output i still think um hids are kind of like the way to go um i guess more bang for your buck in a way but um since my car is already hid i don't want to deal with the whole changing the whole thing around so it's like screw that but best if you have an e46 series or uh maybe an older bmw or a newer one Check your headlights, check really close, and if you see your projector on it, which you most usually will, definitely do the headlight upgrade um, glass on it. To, that's literally night and day. You will thank me. Um, and please get the HIDs. Don't go cheap, don't go eBay, don't go like $30 for freaking HIDs. So save your money and actually go for the Osram's uh, Cool Blue. I mean, in my opinion, these are the greatest um, uh, HID lights, which I don't have to replace the, or upgrade the ballast too. Some people actually do upgrade the ballast to, uh, I think it's a 50 watt. Upgrade your glass and upgrade with a good quality HID head uh, bulb. That's all you need. And I'll show you how to change this on my E46 M3. So first thing is like this plastic piece. You just kind of want to just pull it out of there a little bit, little by little. And over here, there's another tab. You just basically just grab it and just pull it out. Give it like a nice quick pull. The next thing you got to do is take out this side marker. You get a, you get a, you get a screwdriver. Put it into this hole on the side here. Uh, I mean, you'll see like, almost like a catch, like a plastic catch, almost like a little plastic basket with a uh, screwdriver in there. So just unscrew that just a little bit until this thing starts moving around. And then all you gotta do is just pull it forward. Now the actual headlight. I usually like to start, we need to take this piece out, this whole white piece. Um, it's basically just in there with like clips. So I like to start on this side, just pull it, pull this uh, bracket. Damn mosquitoes. Pull this bracket, it usually starts coming out and then just grab it from here and pull it basically towards you. Click, off. Yeah, don't be afraid to like, just actually like just pull it. You know what I mean? Um, if you try to like get a screwdriver in there and try to pry it out, you end up damaging your car. So just grab it and just give it a quick pull. Now the actual headlight itself, um, before we get to that, you need to take out, or you need to actually disconnect, uh, the ballast. So here's the ballast. You pull this off and Basically, just unscrew that. Not unscrew it, just, just pull it off. And then here's the other one. You pull it right off too as well. There's two. So you disconnect those two. That's the ballast for the headlights. Now that you took these things off, um, you're going to have to pull this off, this plastic lid. Off. Boom. Comes out. Now here is the actual ballast itself. You're gonna need to unscrew this screwdriver. I mean, this bolt. So you need to take the ballast out and you need a 10 millimeter for top and bottom screws. You'll see it here.
All right, so now you took this one out, just basically just leave it there dangling. You don't need to like actually pull it out because it's still connected to the actual headlight. Here comes the tricky part, taking out these four bolts without losing them. That's, that's the tricky part, but there's a solution for that, which is pretty awesome. You're gonna need uh, eight millimeter. I believe it's eight. Yeah, so you're gonna need uh, eight millimeter or uh, five sixteenths. That's what I have right now, I have a five sixteenths. But, here's a little word of advice. Get yourself a magnet like this. I usually got this one from Amazon. Um, it's one of those, just type in like powerful magnets or something like that, and it's like this size. Um, I put duct tape all around it, but this is a really strong magnet. This thing can like literally like mess you up. <laughs> so what I do is just I usually put it in the back of it and the whole thing is magnetized. So when I unscrew something or any tools that I have, I just attach a magnet to it and the thing, uh, the bolt of the, the screw, whatever, will be attached to it. So that's a word of advice because if you lose this little because if you lose one of these screws especially these bottom ones you're gonna see how hard it is to actually get out of there and um i don't want to lose any screws so let's try to take that one out if you go at the bottom you'll see it you guys see that okay should we focus on that one there it is that's the sucker that we need. That's one. And then the other one, it's literally down there. Do you see that one? Hopefully I can focus on that. Yeah, that's the sucker that we need to actually pull out. And if you don't have that magnet and if you and you try to pull that screw out of there and then you drop it, it's like it's gone. It's like you... Okay, so I'm gonna take this one out. And I honestly don't need the actual ratchet because these screws, I don't really tighten up too much. They're just like finger tight. So look at that, sweet. That's screw number two, go for the third one. And the best thing you can actually do is get one of these um, extensions that have this wiggle arm right here. So when you do put on that, it gives you that little wiggle room. That's, that's a huge, huge help. Okay, cool. So this magnet, done. All right, so we took four screws out, and now we have to actually just pull the headlight out. So before I pull the actual headlight out, word of advice, give yourself a nice little rag and just put it right between, wedge it in there. There you go. Shove it in there because when you're pulling the light out, you don't want to scratch your bumper, you know? So this light's actually ready to be taken out. Before you actually pull the light out, there are two plugs that you need to unplug. I believe it's a high beams, and I um, don't know what the other is. Maybe it's a turning signal. I don't know what the other one is, but it's literally right next to it. So there's two that you need to pull out or unplug. Okay, once you do that, pull this off of whatever it's resting in. This is the ballast and kind of hold it with you with arm, one, one hand and pull this one out so it can easily just slide out. There you go. So you can just rest it on top of your, um, your rag. Now the reason I'm not pulling it straight out completely is because I have modified my headlights with my headlights with um with an led with a, with a red led and um, it's still connected to the car so 
My job's a little harder, so. But you at home, you can actually pull this whole light and take it to your work desk and work on it right there. But I can't do that because, as you can see, I hot wired something. I hot, as you can see, I hot wired uh, this LED light, which you'll see inside. Um, but I'll show you how to do it too, as well, if you want to do that. You know, to take this thing off. You just pull these tabs off completely up. There's another one. There's another one. Like I said, man, this headlight is super, super well designed because you can work on it. You do whatever you want, which is really cool. I really like this headlight. I also have an Evo myself, which is um, not here. And I try to modify those headlights. Holy crap, dude. I literally had to take that thing to like the oven and like, uh, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. Cool. So this thing comes out completely. And by the way, so if you do buy a new one, you could literally skip everything we just did and just pull these tabs out, pull it off, pull it back in. Super simple without even mostly having to pull the whole light out. So there you have it. So this is the stock and um, you just pull this piece off. You just grab it and you just like literally pull it off. So everything's held by basically little tiny clips. Super simple to work with. Okay, so here's the tricky part about this. Again, I can't take the light with me, so I kind of have to show you like this. Okay, so this is a little cable that I'm talking about. Um, it's already basically hard, hard wired into the car and I can't pull it off. That's my, my bad. But here's the thing you gotta do. Uh, take off the high beams, which is a twist off completely. Twist this off, you put it over here. And then, okay, and then you, there's a bracket right here. You push this, you open this up. Next, you twist this, and basically this is your HIDs. You take this off like that. And then the inside, as you can see, you unscrew this. You, it's basically like a twist lock. So you unlock it and you grab on to the HID itself and then it just comes directly straight out. There it is. So now that you have the inside, there is this cable that you see here inside. You need to disconnect that. All right, so you pull that off. It's pretty tough. So. But at the same time, be very careful with this because it's very brittle. I already kind of fucked up mine a little bit, but um, by squeezing it too hard. All right, so here's a tricky part in here. In order for you to take the whole assembly off, um, yeah, to take the whole assembly off, inside you will see right in there, you can see that there's right in there in the corner that that little nub or little knuckle that you see in there that needs to go that one right there so the best way you could do that is actually take a screwdriver so you take a screwdriver like that so you take a screwdriver and you like basically just pop it off you lift it and then you pop it off. Okay, so I have it. I'm using leverage to like actually just lift it up and it should be very simple. There you go. Just pops right off. You kind of have to lift it and push at the same time. So now that that's completely off the knuckle, you have to basically just keep Keep counterclockwise or clockwise? Yeah, clockwise. Basically going this way. Just keep doing that. And also this right here, 
there is a little slot that goes in there. So if you need to put a screwdriver uh, right in there to move it to the side before you actually do this. So you'll see what I'm talking about right now. This is, this is part of like an assembly inside there. So you need to basically put a screwdriver in there and pop it off. A flathead, I mean. Cool, there it is. So, finally is off. All right, so the next, the next part is actually taking out this piece itself. So if you rotate it, you're gonna need a Torx screwdriver uh, with a T25. T25 goes in here. You unscrew this part. And then you unscrew the bottom one. Okay, and then one more. So there's gonna be three of them. So the front piece, the actual plastic, um, the shroud, I think it's called, it just pops off. So it's held by a clip. It's almost like a, yeah, it's held by a little clip. So if you move it to one side and then you move it to the other side, it comes off pretty easy. And then this comes out, look at that. You see what I'm talking about? I glue a, a red LED right on the actual shroud so it could shine onto the projector and gives me that, um, basically that Terminator eyes. I did that a while back, so I mean, dude, this thing's still, still rocking. It cost me like, literally like five bucks, dude, for two LEDs. All right. Cool, so we took out the slide assembly out already, and um, there's that glass that I'm talking about. Super dull, right? Cool. So, in order for us to take this off, we're gonna need we're gonna need the T20 bit in order to take this piece off. And I know my <clears throat> my HID shroud or the I think it's called the gate. It's red because, like I said, I did, you know I colored it a while back, um, and it looks pretty dope. I mean, certain lights you can actually see the red, so it it's always kind of like stays red, and that has no effect on the actual light itself. But uh, in the daytime. There's a there's like a there's like a glow of red, which is pretty sweet. So there are four bolts or four screws I need to take out. Okay, so literally just pulls right off. There's your light. And if you wanna actually modify this piece, which you know you could either put blue or I don't know, of uh, yellow or whatever color you like. You can just, here's a perfect opportunity for you to actually do that. So this piece just easily goes out. And this is the piece that um, uh, opens opens and closes for, for you to like do the high beams. See that? Uh, flathead screwdriver. Here, here are multiple pins that are bent down. Uh, yeah, so try to ease, like push them out as careful as humanly possible. So you don't have to break these things, you know? Or scratch your glass, which that would really suck. You see that? So you're pushing that out a little bit, little by little. And one more. Cool. So. If you're doing on something like this, set it down and very easily or very carefully, you can push this down and it'll push this circle. I don't know what it's called. Like, I guess like a fastener, start pulling at it. Like I said, be very careful because I wouldn't want to scratch the glass or even worse, break it. 
There you go. This is the stock projector. So we're gonna put this sucker in this little box and we're gonna put the aftermarket projector right in there. Okay, so this next part, uh, I just wanna clean the lens a little bit before I actually put it back in. This is uh, just lens cleaner. Awesome, so fully clean, check that out. Oh, that's awesome. So, so nice. Love it. And there's a certain way this thing goes. Um, you'll see this little ridge right here. See that, little, see that little ridge right here? It's only one of them. So that has to land on that piece on top of it. So once you put it in there, I'll show you. Yeah, do you see that piece in there? It, it can only go one way. You'll see it. It'll just land right in there. And then after that, we drop in this piece, the fastener. Now, another thing, make sure the opening goes between some of these. You can go anywhere that you want it, right? But make sure it goes between uh, two. It, it, don't, don't make it land in the middle of a fastener because then that what's the point of it right so you have to like make it land between which i'll show you right now this is what i'm talking about about the the top pin make sure it goes between uh two um two of these little i don't know what they're called bendable tabs or whatever between it you don't want to be landed right on it you know what i mean so this is this is a perfect example of what i'm talking about and after that, you just bend these pieces back. Awesome, there you have it. Do you see that? Okay, so I just bend these pieces and this thing's not going anywhere. So there you have it. All right, so, and before we put it all together, this is another thing that you guys need to do. Um, the actual, uh, the housing of the LED light of the I'm sorry of the HID light gets really foggy uh, gets a little kind of like hazy It's because of uh, the temperature and the, the heat that emits the actual light bulb So what I would do is actually just clean this You can clean it with anything. I have lens cleaner. I'm using this a couple of drops of this and then Get any rag just really like polish it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to polish it. But over time, you're, it's, it's the heat that's actually melting the plastic. Or the coating, I'm sorry, the coating of the... There you go, it's a little bit better. So we got this. Now we get the gate. The gate only goes one way. You see these uh, little four pins right here. It goes on the in the inner ones. You push that down. On top of that, we get this, and it only goes one way. So just even if it doesn't fit like this, it doesn't fit like that. You will see it only fits one direction. Push it down, make sure everything's nice and clean. You get your screws. Cool, there you have it. See the difference? See the difference between the stock and this one? This, this is like very vibrant and you can actually see everything super clear with this one. Um, I mean, again, dude, the other, the other thing sucks. I don't know why. 
BMW did that. So here's the headlight. So when you want to do high beams, this thing opens up and you get the high beams and it closes up. So let's put this back. Okay, so let's put this back. And here's the easiest way to actually do this. You put that one there, this one here. So there's only three screws because the top one is basically a dud. So, and then you load this one. So you have, if the projector goes like this, you'll have the bottom two on, and then there's a top left one. This right one, there's no screw for that one. So I don't know, it's, it's just a, I guess a universal thing. So the ones that actually have these little gummies, if you're looking at the lens itself like this, is this one and the top one over here. So it goes diagonal. Do you see that? It's diagonally. And this is probably the easiest way to do this. Again, if you're like sitting on your um, table, this is super easy, but I can't take mine out. You don't have to tighten these uh, pieces tight. The only one that goes kind of tight is the bottom one that does not have the little rubber piece. The others are basically for shock absorbent, so they won't have to be moving a lot. Okay. And this shroud basically just clicks right in. There you go. So it's in there. Now on to the back. This piece right here goes in here inside. It's almost like a like a joint, like a bone in the joint. It goes in there. And this piece, make sure you kind of straighten it out so it will fit right into that screw and then you can start screwing it in there. But yeah, that needs to stay in there. Once you reeled in enough that you feel pretty confident, turn this upside down. Turn this to the back. Do you remember that that pin or that elbow in the back that we actually uh, pulled off with the screwdriver? That needs to go back in there. So try to align it and all you have to do is basically just push it in. There you go. Now that we got in there, uh, any last fixes? Now we're gonna put this piece in there. Should we give it a nice little clean? This piece just goes right through that. Make sure everything's correctly aligned. Everything's in place. Cool, so. This is super easy. All you, with this piece, all you have to do is just basically just push it in there. Awesome, see, until it clicks. Top, bottom, everything's good. All right, so now that that's in there, we're gonna get our plastic piece and uh, just give it a little quick shine. Make sure uh, it's not dull inside or there's like no uh, condensation or anything like that. Just give it a good clean. Make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, make sure there's no debris, get a little air can. start from the bottom there you go everything goes good smoothly make sure all the tabs are in especially this is a pin yes one there you go 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, make sure all of them are in there. All right, guys, so you're almost done. For me, since I already have the uh, angel eyes, uh, this is a little box that came in, and this is actually grounded to the car. Uh, once you buy the, the the angel eyes, it gives you instructions how to do that, so I'm not going to go over that. But next step is to actually bolt in the, the headlight itself in there. And remember when I told you about the magnet? Now it's time for that. So we're going to use this little magnet again magnetize this in order not to lose this damn screw. Awesome. This is really secure down here. Looks great. Looks amazing. Okay, next step is to get this light right here. So plug this in. Make sure this little I don't know why it, it does this, but make sure it just sticks to it and it goes right in there without it falling down. So there's one. I'm telling you, man, this design is like, <laughs> this is like the great, the best design ever. Cause I do, I love this headlight. I love to take it apart. I love to clean it. I love to do everything to it because it's super easy to do. Okay. So the next step is to actually put the bottom piece and the bottom piece goes in here. Very cool. So. So this piece does not go in like one way and then like the other way. It goes directly forward like that. It just goes click right in there. So don't try to put one piece in first and the other one. Uh, it just goes in as one. To align it, let me correct myself. So you align the piece in order to go directly straight starting on this side. Starting over here, you'll see a clip. You see where it goes. Start there, don't push it all the way in, and basically that will guide you to all the other ones that go in there. So once you have them, once you start with this one, then you can push it all in. Boom, it goes in there as one. All right, so now that we're in the back over here, let's connect this first. So this is the ballast. And there's a pain in the ass ballast. Again, everything should be just finger, finger tight or hand tight. Okay, cool. It clicks, clicks on. Yep, there you go. Stays like that. This piece goes in here. Boom. This piece goes in here. Wiggle it so you can get the actual plastic over this. Okay, so that's done. Again, your high beams go in a certain direction too as well. I believe it goes like that. Connect your high beams. Okay, now it's connected. And then you connect know what that other one is but there's two connections cool you got those in and as for me that I have the angel eyes I gotta plug all of these in so there's that piece that we need to connect that we completely I completely forgot um, it's part of the uh, where is it yeah it's right there so once you see it you can easily connect it from here it's no problem. The blue piece goes to the bottom of the actual bulb. Do not touch the bulb itself with your hands. I mean, I, I don't know if I need to tell you this, but the oils in your skin will actually burn out the bulb. So everything's connected. The bulb is in there already. And then you have to just put this piece in there, kind of like sideways, and then click it, and it locks in. The last piece, this is the pain in the ass. Um, yeah. So perhaps I should have done this 
when the car was outside, but whatever. I like to complicate things. All right, so this is fully done. Um, the last piece that we need is actually this little sucker right here. And this is by far the hardest piece that you could probably ever do. Yeah. Sweet, there you have it. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so now we're out here at night and check out this light. Huge improvement, right? Look at that. I mean, this beam pattern is just phenomenal. Cool guys, thanks for watching. Yeah.